Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here because we're working on a stainless steel Damascus carving knife and fork set. We initially wanted to do it before Thanksgiving, um, but I'm a very slow worker, and so we're now trying to do it before Christmas next year. So, you know, we set ourselves a nice, uh, nice... <coughs> We've got a whole lot of stuff to do. I really want to get this project finished today, and so I'm gonna try really hard to do that. When Will left us to visit his family for Thanksgiving, this is where he left the knife. I want to finalize the fit up on our bolster, and then get the handle gluing up on this. See the best use of time, so we can then, while it's setting, work on our fork again. Now you know the drill, just like in the last episode. We're gonna hammer on the bolster to make ourselves a mark, make ourselves a little trench so it sits a little recessed, and we'll be back to you in a jiffy. Song of the Dyke. Holy mackerel, maybe, did we just sell out of hammers in two minutes? Today is the next day, and yesterday, let me tell you, was unbelievable. It was utterly unreal. We didn't know the website was live on our end for two minutes. It went to one o'clock Mountain Standard Time, and we were just kind of finishing up some little tweaks here and there, making sure the wording was correct, and then two minutes passed, I'm like, right, let's make it live. And then, like, oh wait, no, it was on a timer. It's already live. I go into the orders, and I'm thinking to myself, oh no, we're out of stock on the hammers. There was, there was a problem with the website. We didn't have any stock for the hammers. Well, I then go into the orders. Lo and behold, they all had gone. Two minutes. Utterly unbelievable. We are so grateful to everybody that was able to get a hammer, to people that were able to get grinders. And oh my goodness, he's back! The man, the myth, the legend, Will Stelter! And we are now back on the project that we're working on. A little hand sanding time, don't you reckon? I think it just might be. You know, my thumbs have been feeling really good in the last week. They've rejuvenated. I'm ready to grind them down again. We are both at a very similar process. Uh, we're actually not. Uh, mine's already glued up and already etched. But we're both going to be doing the same thing. I am going to be working on this handle while this is now glued up. I am going to be doing some rough handle shaping before we do the glue up. So I guess we're going to go make some dust. <laughs>
haven't said anything to the camera. Mm. Oh, hey camera. Um, we're gonna go ahead and etch this. Wait, so you have the handle ready? Um, it's not completely ready, but it's ready enough. Why don't we just go ahead and come up standing? Alrighty, I have the handle looking like this. Looking pretty neat, right? It does look neat. That's I like it. Are we gonna dye this wood? Oh, what? We're gonna kill it. Please, no. No, but you say that I put all this work into it. You just want to kill it? Yes. Traditionally, on like maple gun stocks and stuff like that, they don't look like that. They're dark brown, and it's because they dye it. And you can use leather dye, which we have. So maybe might, might be worth a test. Doing a little testing. I think we might do that. We might do that. But you have also been working there. You've roughed in the handle. Looks yes. like that. It's it's rough enough. We're ready to. Ready to give this a little etcheruski, which it's means we can use the tips we learned from Barefoot Forge. Craig, thank you again. And we're gonna go into two to one wa diluted water to ferric chloride acid. We're gonna shake it up and get some air into there. Shake it all about, pull it in and out. And the idea is, is we wanna bring oxygen into the ferric chloride solution and uh, let it etch that way. Whoa, that looks nice though. That does look nice. That looks super nice. You know, I've been thinking, I've got a puppy and everybody likes puppies. I'm a, just thrilled with having a puppy. It's the greatest thing ever. What do you guys say about stainless Damascus stainless puppy Damascus tag? puppy tag with a Yogo Sapphire? Because the dog is named Yogo because sa the Montana Sapphire that's a Yogo Sapphire. Would that be cool or what? It's really not etching as well as this one etched when I had heat treated it consistently. Um, this one went dark immediately on the areas that had the right grain structure but it was not the same heat treatment that the blade received because the blade was quenched in aluminium. So maybe because this is hardened, we're gonna have to adjust our etching. Better we could just leave it in longer. And try it, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> that looks horrible. This etch is the worst etch I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if we should refinish it from here. It looks really bad. I'm gonna refinish it. This looks terrible. I'm gonna refinish it. Okay, we'll see how that does as far as uh, Refinishing. I don't know if we went deep enough or not. I don't know anything about this process. I'm learning on the fly here. Let's grab ourselves the muriatic acid and give this thing a dunk. Moments later. Ah, oh, it's done absolutely nothing. We shall leave it in for longer. More moments later. That's not looking too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take some 2000 grit and give that thing a little polish. See if we can get a little bit more contrast out of it. Just need it to blacken up. It looks kind of like wrought iron, which is really kind of cool, actually. Pretty funky. There's loads of different stuff going on there. Neutralize it, give it maybe a little bit of 2500 grit. A little bit of this on the 2500. See how it goes, and then, uh, yeah, glue her up. Sweet. These things are looking beautiful. Great job hand sanding these up. We've decided to dye. To leather dye. I'm gonna take some Q-tips and uh, see how it goes. Good luck. <sighs> that looks amazing. Wow, it looks incredible. Holy granola. Holy granoli. This is a gorgeous finish. 
That really came out very, it's got some lots of curl to it. So lots of chatoyance. Is it sharp? No. I think we should go ahead and roll a finale montage. So we definitely missed Thanksgiving, but that doesn't mean there aren't all sorts of foodstuffs that need cutting, such as this beautiful donut that was on clearance today. And dare I say, this works, looks like, that looks like it works pretty well. Absolutely. You want a piece of donut, Will? Thank you, Alec. It's pretty lovely. Wow! The fork actually forks. Well, perfectly. The knife cuts like a charm. It works a treat. <laughs> You do not just make that joke. Overall, this is extremely exciting. Our first stainless steel Damascus projects actually stuck together. Yeah, we definitely have some R&D to do on the whole, I guess, forging and not burning it, and then also the actual etching part of it, which is Absolutely. the important part. Because there was a big difference in the etch quality of one versus the other. Mm -hmm. That's okay, not a problem. What is also very exciting is that folks, you can still get in on our hammer order list. We have a hammer ordering list. It's the new way that we're gonna be taking orders. We're getting people on a list and it's gonna be on a first come first serve basis that as we have hammers available, mm -hmm. we will be getting them to you. So you gotta be on the list to get a hammer in the future. We're also still taking grinder pre-orders. So if you wanna get yourself in line for a grinder. We're taking pre-orders and we've also got some special gifts to give away to folks that are pre-ordering grinders in time for Christmas. The grinders are gonna be arriving in April. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Be sure to check out the website, get yourself on the hammer list if you want one in the future. Get yourself a grinder pre-ordered too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Will. It's great to have you back. Appreciate the help. <laughs> yeah! Wait, 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 oh, we gotta do a turkey. Cause it's Thanksgiving. How do you do a turkey? Go high five. That's a turkey? Is that a turkey? Yeah.